Hello, my name is Quentin uh, from ServiceNow and in this video I wanted to showcase our new uh, capability called um, Text to Spoke. It's um, a skill in our Now Assist uh, uh, for Creator offering that, uh, that helps you build integration quickly. Um, so I'm going to show you how that works in a few minutes. So I'm in the Now Assist admin interface and you can see that I've activated the Spoke generation. So we have Spoke generator already on the ServiceNow platform. What's new is you are able, in addition to being able to create new Spoke using Open API specification, you can now do um, provide uh, the documentation of an API as an input and using a specific LLM we are able to create the spoke from you. So I'm gonna go through an example, but this, the main goal is to accelerate the time it takes for you to create a new integration on ServiceNow. I'm gonna be using that API that uh, is to manage some Bitcoin. Um, so this, this will work with any API that provide um, an API documentation. As you can see, uh, that API has a documentation they may provide a particular uh, gongecko.com may provide an open API spec that, that I could use and I could use Spock Generator and that specification file. In my example, I want to show you in the case your API do not have um, an open API specification or YAML file, you could copy paste the description from the website basically uh, uh, from the documentation and then feed that to uh, the Spock generator. So I'm going to try to copy paste and do a good job at doing a copy paste here. All right. So I'm just going to do copy that piece of the documentation for that particular method. Let's say I want to retrieve the price for a specific uh, type of coin. Um, I will be providing an, an ID. So there is, um, if I have a use case for which I want to integrate with that API from ServiceNow, I will have to build the different step the inputs, the output, uh, etc., of that API in service node. So it could be a lot of clicks. Uh, now using those uh, no assist for creator and LLM, we can uh, accelerate the time it takes to build that. So we do have that, um, that documentation that I, I did a copy. I just did copy of the documentation. Now I'm going to go in the workflow uh, studio and create a new Spock. And you'll see how that works. So I'm going to go in studio and create a new Spock. This will launch the Spock generator. That this, the Spock generator uh, was already there last year. Um, as I said, with OpenAPI. Uh, now we can um, provide an API documentation and it will create the Spock action for you. So I'm going to call it the same. Uh, it's for CoinGecko. That's the name of that platform that uh, helps you manage um, Bitcoin. Uh, basically, I'm just going to put a quick description. I'm not going to put a logo. It's not, not really need, uh, use, useful for the demo. So this, was, uh, this will ask me a bunch of questions. Uh, do you want to create the Spock from an open API, a Postman collection, or do things manually? The, news, the new capability I want to showcase today is the No Assist. It's going to use LLM, GenAI, to create the Spock action for me based on the documentation. See, pass your API documentation here. So if I did a copy paste job correctly, I sh uh, you know, that which I think I did, um, I got the, um, the API specification, uh, not specification documentation from the website and I click generate preview. And what the generator does, all the things here, creating the resource path, selecting the HTTP method, creating the query parameters, configuring the header, all of that, without that uh, skill, uh, you will have to create this manually. So it's a lot of clicks. Imagine you have to create a lot of uh, integration on ServiceNow, uh, you'll waste, waste a lot of time. So that's actually the value you get. It's accelerating the time it takes to create that integration. So I'm going to click continue. Um, it's going to ask me to, you know, because the API usually take uh, some kind of API key, uh, authentication method. So I'm going to create a specific um, alias for CoinGecko. It's going to be an API key that I will be providing. Um, I'm going to put the URL of um, that um, 
that connection point. It was probably not in the documentation, um, but actually it was. Uh, it's in case I could put a placeholder because based on the alias you're using, uh, you may have a prod uh, dev or different type of connection URL. Here I'm gonna be using this one. And I'm gonna try to copy paste the API key that I will change after I publish the, the recording. So no one uh, is gonna use my uh, specific key, right? So I'm just on my other screen doing a copy paste and I'm gonna pass the API key that I got from, from the vendor. And I don't need to save this. I don't need to put a category. I'm gonna save that action as draft. This can take some time. If you have new action, you can go back to the next page. For example, if the, there is new um, action here that I want to create uh, for my spoke, I could go as it's loading on the spoke generator and keep adding new method, the new uh, API method uh, as uh, this is loading in the spoke generator. So uh, now I think it's gonna be time to uh, try um, that, uh, that API. So I'm gonna go uh, to the spoke page. It's saying action was generated and I'm gonna click on draft because I don't wanna publish it before I test it, right? So you see coin price by ID was created and this is normally where you see all the inputs that was created automatically. Uh, the input from the documentation and actually the output uh, can automatically get the response code, the, the base URL, everything was configured properly. So now we can, uh, we can test it to validate that it works. Uh, so we can click on the test button. And I'm gonna, obviously this is an API, so it requires a value, a parameter. I could set this manually um, as default value if, uh, if I wanted to. Um, uh, I'm on my other screen, I'm reading, actually um, validating what uh, input I need to specify for that particular um, that particular um, API call, I know here is expecting a, um, a coin ID. Uh, full, and I think it's Boolean value that it's looking for. Very specific to the API, right? So I'm gonna coin price by ID. I'm gonna go back to, to the API doc. I think it's uh, true. I think that's it. So uh, that's just specific to the API you're dealing with, right? So I, I was taking the time to review the documentation to make sure I'm passing values that the API will accept. And I, when I click uh, run, uh, if everything goes well, it's gonna use the API key. It's gonna, all the, the API call has been, um, you know, created here. And it looks all completed in green. So that looks complete and successful. So you can see that API uh, integration is already built and working perfectly. I should be able to retrieve um, for the thing that's specified here. You see, we get the response from the API about that particular coin. So you could use this um, to build your own uh, integration and then you can parse the data and do the, whatever you need with uh, the response from the API. I hope that's useful. Talk to you later.